channel. So today I'm going to go through the next project on FreeCodeCamp's Responsive Web Design Certificate. And this one is building a tribute page. So as we can see over here, this is an example of a tribute page to Dr. Norman Borlaug. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, but not too sure. The man who saved a billion lives. So it's a nice photo. Um, you can see he's a third from the left. So this guy. And here's a timeline of his work. And it looks like, yeah, he did quite a bit in helping mitigate mass starvation um, by bringing high yielding strains of wheat to the Indian subcontinent and obviously received the Nobel Peace Prize. So yeah, seems quite a, uh, quite a life he's had. And this is a tribute page to him. So um, it's a good project to sort of go through and tackle if you're going through the responsive web design. Um, and yeah, we're going to build that out now. So let's see, we've got some user stories here and we know kind of what we're aiming to achieve. So you can see, I think there's nine user stories and it's really nice that FreeCodeCamp kind of give you this and this wording because when you're actually developing in a company, you'll be ticking off tickets and, and yeah, there'll be user stories and broken down like that. So it's really nice. So Let's start, we can see we've got our instructions, index.html, which is this page. And we've also got styles.css, which will be over here. And um, then we've got the preview window as well. And we've got a console if we need it. I don't think we will. This seems to be just HTML um, and CSS. So let's start. Um, so for number one, your tribute page should have a main element with a corresponding ID of main, which contains all other elements. So let's give that uh, and start with the, the main tag and the ID is equal to main. And what I'm going to do is kind of hit save and run the test as we go through. And we can see that's past the first one. Um, I thought we'd need to do a doc type and everything, but uh, actually we, we do need to do that. So let's kind of rewind a bit. Um, and if you remember for every index.html file, we need to do doc type and that'll be HTML like so. And then I believe it will be a closing HTML tag. And let's wrap our main within there. And also we then want a head tag like that. And then we also want a body like so. And that's where the, all the content will go. So we'll put the main within the body like that. And I'm just gonna kind of format as we go. So it will look something like this. And within the head tag, we want a link to our style sheet. And what I'm actually going to do now is go to that style sheet over here. And just to make sure that we have actually added it correctly, I'm going to do the sort of the universal selector, um, which is a star sign. Just do background, uh, let's do red, just to make sure it applies the red color, which we can see in the preview. So that's great. We know now that our style sheet over here is hooked up to our HTML, which is perfect. Um, we've completed the first task as well of having the main element with an ID. So you should see an, an ID of title, I see an element, sorry, with an ID of title, which contains a string of text. So let's do that. Um, so I'm gonna give this a, as a, a P tag for some text. Um, it's gonna have an ID of title. Actually for title, I'm gonna give it a H1. So it's sort of the very first element. Um, and the tribute page, I'm just gonna put a tribute page header like that. Hit, hit save and we can see that there. And let's see. And yep, we've passed that test and also the title shouldn't be empty, which it isn't. So that's good. Um, yep, that's perfect. Uh, you should see either a figure or a div element with ID of image div. So I'm going to come, yeah, stay within main and let's give, uh, let's create a div. Um, so you could create a figure element. I'm just going to do a div here. Um, and then the ID will be image dash div like that. And then within the um, div uh, image div, we should then have an image tag like so. Um, slash IMG. That could be self-closing. Um, and we want to give it an ID of image. And then the, I guess there should be a source as well, which we'll come back to um, once I've kind of found one online. So let's just hit save and just check that we've kind of figured that one out as well. 
Uh, so these should all be descendants of main, which they are here. Um, but yeah, we need to create them as we go. So there's the, the image. Uh, the image should be a descendant of image div, which it is. So it's nested within there. Um, so now we kind of need to do a, a little caption. So actually at this point, I'm just going to grab this image. So I'm just going to copy image address and put that as our source so that we've got that there. And you can see that's FreeCodeCamp's uh, CDN testable image, which is great. So we are now on number five. I believe so within the image div so within here uh, like that we want uh, an element with a corresponding image caption that contains textual content describing the image shown in image div so um, let's give this uh, a p tag uh, like that and we're going to give that an id of uh, image dash caption and this will be um, just caption like so. Um, obviously, when you're building your own tribute page, yeah, feel free to um, use whatever you like. And if I just move myself out of the way, we can see there's our caption there um, at the bottom. So I'll just move the uh, camera in and out as needed. Um, so yeah, that's got the right. So let's see if that saves. Um, and obviously image caption should not be empty and we've got our image caption should have a fig caption or div with an ID of image caption. So actually this needs to be um, another div, um, not a P tag. So obviously, as it said, you could use fig caption. And if I run that, there we go, that now passes that test. So that's good. So we've completed number five. Uh, number six, you should see an element with a corresponding ID of tribute info which contains textual content describing the subject of the tribute page. So I'm going to come outside of the image div that we've got and I'm going to create uh, another div like so. And this will have an ID of uh, tribute uh, dash info. And I just need to sort of reformat the string around that. And then within there, I think we want, to, it looks like we want to have an anchor tag. So I'm going to do that and this will have an ID of um, tribute link and actually that needs to be within the opening anchor tag like so. Uh, there we go, tribute dash link, which contains uh, links to an outside site. So we want to put the href and I'm just going to put w, oh, let's do https colon forward slash forward slash google.co.uk uh, just as an example um, hint you must give your element an attribute of target and set it to underscore blank in order for the link to open in a new tab or a new browser window um, so target and that will equal to underscore blank uh, if you don't do that it will actually then just refresh this tab and go to that that link um, which we don't want. So yeah, I think that's all the anchor tag and the link. Tribute info should not be empty. So I'm just going to put tribute info here. Uh, that passes that. And now it looks like your image should use max width and height properties. So this is the image here um, that we can style in the CSS. So let's grab that with the ID of image and we're going to use a max dash width and that will be um, I guess it can be anything here so let's just do 50% um, and then a height of 50% as well um, actually it doesn't look too good let's do 20% for the height like so and then the image should be centered within its parent element. So um, actually that itself, I guess there's a number of ways you could do this if we want to kind of center it, um, I guess, vertically and horizontally. Um, what I'm going to do is just going to have a look here and we can see actually we want a max width of 100. And yeah, we could do a height of auto. And if we see there, that is now um, sort of centered within there. And 
we of course just need to give it a display of block like that. Um, and that's what they're suggesting to center it um, vertically and horizontally within the div there. And we can see that's done there. So that is the tribute page on Free Code Camp. As you can see, it's, it's very basic. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps if you did get stuck, but feel free to play around with these styles, add some additional styles or create some new content um, and, and kind of build it out even further as well with what you might have learned so far. Um, yeah, this was just a, a simple a guide video of how you might want to go ahead and, and structure um, that to, to pass all the tests. So hope that was useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.